I'm doing. Oh. May I make a suggestion? Sure. Don't ever take it up as a profession. <laughs> Patty, have we got any steak in the house? We're having chicken for dinner. What do you want a steak? Ross, what happened to your eye? I was attacked by a monster. You mean some bully did that to you? Forget it, Patty. Just tell me where I can find some steak to put on this eye. No, I'm not going to forget it. What do you think sisters are for? I'm not going to sit here and let something like this happen to you. Gee, Patty, I didn't think you'd get so steamed up about it. Well, of course I'm steamed up. Now, who did that? His name's Jerry Mitchell. He's a new kid at school. Well, how... He's about three inches taller than I am, and he weighs about ten pounds more than I do. Well, how did the fight start? Well, I don't know. Recess, he started shoving me around, and when I told him to cut it out, he belted me in the eye. Come on. Where are we going? To school to get his address, and then we're going over to his house, and I'm going to turn him over my knee and give him a thank he'll remember for the rest of his life. Are you really? I told you, no one but no one lays a hand on my kid brother. Uh, hello, uh, I'm Alan Mitchell. You are? <laughs> I'm Patty Lane. Well, it seems that uh, my little brother, Jerry, got in a fight with your brother today, and I came by to apologize. We just moved into the neighborhood, and I'm afraid that's a bad way to get started. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, if it's any consolation to you, my brother has a black eye, too. You gave his brother a black eye? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> what? Come in, won't you, Mr. Mitchell? Alan. Alan. <laughs> with him, he got into a fight with me. <laughs> Ross, why don't you go find yourself a steak, hmm? <laughs> I'm terribly sorry about this. Ross must learn to control his temper. No, no, I'm not so sure it was Ross's fault. I have a feeling that Jerry likes to fight. Well, don't you worry. I have a feeling they're going to be very good friends. Well, I hope so. I believe in being neighborly, Alan. Where are you from? Oregon. Oh. Yeah, we just moved here last week. You planning to stay for a while? Yes, uh-huh. My dad just bought a sports car agency here in town. A sports car agency? I love sports cars. Do you? Well, so do I. I have three of them. You have three sports cars? Yeah, yeah, I, I race them. Oh. I'll bet you win a lot. <laughs> I have a few trophies here. Hey, maybe you'd like to go for a ride sometime. I'd love to. All right, I'll give you a call. Okay. okay. I've really got to go now and get dressed for a date. Uh, yeah, I'd better be getting dressed, too. Dinner in the theater, you know. It gets to be such a bore doing the same thing every night. Well, I'll tell you, I'll have uh, Jerry apologize to Ross. Oh, don't you do any such thing. I'll have Ross apologize to Jerry. I mean, after all, your brother's new in the neighborhood. And we wouldn't want anyone in your family to get the wrong impression of anyone in our family. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, well, I'll see you. Bye-bye. Bye. See -bye. Bye. ya. We didn't have any stake in the house. Besides, it's none of your business. You're not a member of my family anymore. Oh, come on, Ross. I did it for your own good. You're a Benedict Arnold. Do you want to be known as the town bully? No, and I don't want to be known as the town punching bag either. You're not going to be. You and Jerry Mitchell are going to be very good friends. Why? Because he's going to be your brother-in-law. <laughs> Oh, Kathy, would you pour some milk, please? So where's Ross? I haven't seen him since I got home. He's up in his room, dear. Well, isn't he coming down for dinner? Uh, Patty, will you go see what your brother's doing? He's not my brother anymore. Patty, have you and Ross been fighting again? He's been fighting, but not with me. Oh, I'll get the salad. Hi, Dad. Oh, hi, son. Ross, how'd you get that black eye? By being a bully. You were in a fight? Yes, sir. Well, now, Ross, you know how I feel about things like that. Oh, I couldn't help it, Dad. Dad, do you think it's neighborly to go around beating up new kids in the neighborhood? I don't think it's neighborly to go around beating up anybody. Well, I was minding my own business in the schoolyard, and this new kid named Jerry Mitchell came up to me and started shoving me around. And when I asked him to quit it, he hauled off and belted me in the eye. Oh. Well, Ross, when somebody behaves that way, there must be a reason for it. Maybe he has a personality problem or something of that kind. But violence is no solution to a problem. Now, you're an intelligent boy. The next time he pushes you around, I want you to use that intelligence. Talk to him. Reason with him. Well, what if I do all those things and he still won't listen? Then you can belt him in the eye. <laughs> okay, Jerry. Who is it? It's Patty. Hi there. Look what I brought you, my transistor radio. You've always wanted it. It's yours. What's the catch? What's there anything about a catch? If a sister can't be nice to her own brother, who can she be nice to? Jerry Mitchell's brother. Well, it can't hurt you to be nice to Jerry. Now, I want you to invite him to dinner tomorrow night. OK, but he won't come. Why not? Because tomorrow morning, I'm going to punch him in the nose. You better not. <laughs> I thought you were on my side. I'm on the side of peaceful coexistence. Now, tomorrow morning, I want you to go up to Jerry and shake his hand and tell him you're very sorry. Go up to him, shake his hand, and tell him I'm very sorry. That's right. Then I'll punch him in the nose. <laughs> Ross, this is your last warning. I don't want to hear of you fighting with Jerry. Oh, I'll try and keep it quiet. Try to befriend somebody. <laughs> Sisters. <laughs> He's cash as clay. I don't know what's gotten into him, Kathy. All I know is I'm not going to let him ruin things between Alan and me. What about Richard and you? We can't ruin that. Oh, Kathy, wait till you meet him. He's really something else. Yes, and I think I know what. What? Trouble. Had you hardly know Alan, you're siding with him against your own brother. Just because I'm going out with Alan doesn't mean I'm against Ross. When are you going out with him? The second he asks me. <laughs> Hi, Kath. Ross, what happened? Nothing. <sighs> Jerry Mitchell again, hmm? At recess, he started shoving me around again. I tried to stay away from his right hook, but then I found out something. He's got a left hook you wouldn't believe. <laughs> Who started it? I did, I guess. I went up to say hello to him, and he hit me in the eye. <laughs> Terrible. Did you hit him back? Who had a chance? <laughs> Ross, you can't come home like this every day. We've got to do something about it. I know. I'm running out of eyes. <laughs> I can't do anything about it, Kathy. He's just too big. Size doesn't mean anything. You want a bet? <laughs> We're going to fix that young Jerry Mitchell right now. Where are you going? I'm going to call someone who's going to teach you how to fight. Hello, Richard. This is Kathy. Could you come right over, please? We have an emergency here. Fine. You mean 
mean to say this kid just came up to you and beat you up without any reason? Oh, he's got a reason. He's bigger than I am. Can you teach Ross to box? I'll do better than that. I'll teach him some judo. Oh, boy. Can you really do it? Certainly. I've been trained for years. Will it take long? Well, I can teach him enough tricks to take care of himself in a couple of hours. Wonderful. I'll just sit by and watch. Oh, good. Uh, let me see your muscle. You better put some old clothes on, though. You're gonna be falling a lot. It's certainly nice of you to do this, Richard. Oh, my pleasure. But why didn't Patty ask me? Patty? Well, I mean, it's her brother. Well, um... Richard, I think it would be better if we didn't mention this to Patty right now. Why not? I think we should surprise her. Why, oh, she's really gonna be surprised when she learns that I taught Ross, isn't she? Yes. <laughs> Patty? Uh, Lane, Ross's older sister. Oh, oh, yeah, sure. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, listen, uh, how's your little brother? Well, he, he's fine. Oh, good. I, I, uh, I, I was worried about him. <laughs> um, look, um, uh, the reason I called is, um, well, I, I wanted to be sure you told him not to worry about Ross bothering him anymore. Oh, oh yeah. Don't worry about Jerry. Oh, good, because I wouldn't want him to get the wrong impression of our family. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll mention it to him. Uh, good. Uh, how are all your sports cars? Oh, well, uh, they're fine. Good. Have you won any races lately? Since yesterday, no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, um, you know, I was thinking about it. I mean, after you mentioned it yesterday. It must be wild driving around in a car like that with all that power throbbing inside of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, it must give you a great sense of, uh, uh, a power, huh? Uh, yes, it's, uh, it's really quite a kick. Yeah. Um, well, uh, did I tell you I'd never ridden in a sports car? Uh, yeah, I, th I think you did. If you'll excuse me, I've got to go now. Oh, you're gonna go driving in your car? Uh, no, no, I I'm going down to Miller's garage and work on my carburetor. You mean you fix cars? Oh, I think it's marvelous to be able to work with your hands. Well, uh, thank you for calling. Oh, that's all right. I was just sitting here thinking, and I thought... Well, I thought I'd like to go out for a breath of fresh air. And then I thought, no, no, first I better call and see how your little brother is. You say he's okay, huh? Yes, he's fine. Oh, well, that's good, because I, I was really worried about him. By the way, isn't my house... Right on the way to Miller's Garage? No, no, Miller's Garage is right around the corner from here. Oh. Oh, well, then you, you can practically walk there, can't you? Well, I mean, if, if, if you didn't need your car to fix it when you got there. Yes. I mean, you say your brother's really all right, huh? Yes, I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> Thank you for calling now. Bye. <laughs> Set. All right, now throw a punch at me. Oh, wait a minute. Not so fast. You gotta go slower. I can't teach you. Oh, all right. Throw another punch. Parry with the left, grab the wrist, twist the arm up behind, and hold onto the shirt. You got it? Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, okay, you try. Go ahead. Throw a punch at me. Right, come in a little closer. All right, okay. Parry, grab. <laughs> okay, Ross. Hey, I got it. I got it. Yeah, you're breaking my arm, too. <laughs> well, it didn't take long to learn that at all, did it? I can teach him enough tricks so I'll throw that Jerry Mitchell around the schoolyard like a basketball. <laughs> I'm supposed to be teaching you. Oh, sorry, just get carried away. You need more than one hold anyway. Okay, now, come in a little closer and get your feet apart. All right. I'm going to show you the kickback throw. You step in, yeah. grab the shoulders and kick. <laughs> Boss, do you want to learn or don't you? <laughs> Hi, Kathy. Have I had any calls? Not since I've been home. You sure? Yes. I, I mean, you're sure Alan Mitchell didn't call me? Was he supposed to? Well, I happened to run into him at Miller's Garage, and he said he, he might call. What were you doing at Miller's Garage? Never mind. You know, Kathy, you'll never know how different a car looks from underneath. I beg your pardon. 
Well, I mean, they keep all kinds of secret things under there. Patty, do you mean to tell me you crawled under a car to talk to Alan Mitchell? <laughs> of course not. It was up on a rack. You know, he really looks cute in overalls with grease all over him. By the way, have you seen Ross? I don't think he's home from school yet. Oh, I just want to make sure he stops picking on poor little Jerry Mitchell. <laughs> on poor little Jerry Mitchell again? It's very funny. Didn't you use the judo hole Richard taught you? Sure I did. Only he got out of it and flipped me over. What about the kickback throw? I tried everything. Well, don't you worry, Ross. We're not licked yet. What do you mean, we? <laughs> you say this kid knows judo. I'll say he does. I'll bet you he doesn't know karate. And that's what I'm going to teach you. Are you sure it works? Have I ever failed you? Never mind. I <laughs> promise you tomorrow this kid's gonna be running from you in terror. Get up. Yes? Sure. It's the most dangerous thing there is. Notice anything special about my hand? It needs washing. <laughs> it's a deadly weapon. It is? As a matter of fact, in a lot of states, a karate expert has to register his hand with the proper authorities. <laughs> now watch this. Where she get the balance? That aim. Perfect aim. A lot of concentration. Then take a deep breath. <sighs> you notice the aim? Keep your eye on that. I think you're right, Richard. Ross does need some fundamental training. There you are. A week with these and Ross will look like Samson. Good. Well, should we... Richard. <laughs> Richard! If those are for Ross, shall we call him? Oh, okay. <laughs> Until I get my tools. tricky. You gotta take it easy at first. Uh, now, wait a minute, Ross. You gotta do this right. First, we gotta make sure your thumbs are folded down right. There, like that. Okay. Now, I want you to think of all your strength being in your shoulders, your arms, and your wrists. And when I say pull, I want you to pull with all your might. Are you thinking? Yeah, I'm thinking. Okay. Ready? Pull! <laughs> oh! That was great, Ross. Come on, get up. I can't. Why not? Well, there's no strength in my little legs. It's all gone to my shoulders, arms, and wrists. <laughs> you know what the trouble with you is? What? Psychological. You know what I mean, Kath? I think so. What you need is confidence, see? Yeah. What you should do is say to yourself, I'm stronger than he is, I can beat him. Yeah. Well, say it. I'm stronger than he is, I can beat him. Say it again. I'm stronger than he is, I can beat him. Once more. I'm stronger than he is. I can beat him. Did you say I'm stronger than he is? I can beat him? I didn't get a chance. Why not? 
When I opened my mouth, he stuck his fist in it. You're kidding. Do I look like I'm kidding? Oh, it was pitiful. I tried judo and he threw me. Then I played my ace card. I started that karate movie you showed me. You're right, it's murder. Oh, hi, Rich. How... Holy cow, you look like a disaster area. What happened? Nothing. Don't tell me you've been fighting with little Jerry Mitchell again. Patty, you've got it all wrong. Jerry Mitchell has been beating up Ross. That's why I've been teaching Ross self-defense. Self-defense? Yeah, you know, defending himself. You've been what? Yeah, it was Kath's idea. Thanks a lot, cousin. Well, someone had to do something about Ross. Well, somebody is going to do something about Ross right now. What's the matter, Patty? I'd rather not go into it at the moment. I'll get it. Hi. Hi, Alan. Uh, may I talk to you for a minute? Sure, please? let's go someplace quiet. It's Jerry Mitchell's brother. Come on in, Alan. Thank you. Uh, this is my cousin, Kathy. This is Alan Mitchell, and this is Richard Harrison. Hi. Alan is a brother of a friend of Ross's. A what of mine? <laughs> yes, Jerry mentioned to me that you two had another fight today. Oh, I'm sure it was just a friendly little argument. You know how those things happen. Yeah, I've told Jerry a million times not to get in any fights. Then why is he always fighting? Well, I guess it's my fault. I taught him a little boxing and some judo and karate, and it must have gone to his head. No, it went to mine. <laughs> he told me that you tried to use some of that against him. You shouldn't have, you know. He's, he's really pretty good. Good. He's an expert. And so will Ross be when I'm through teaching him. He just needs a little practice. Now, look, it's not a good idea to encourage this sort of thing. Who says so? Well, look, why don't we all go down and have a nice soda, huh? Look, you shouldn't fool around with things you don't understand. How about a milkshake? Things I don't understand? I've been studying judo for three years. How, by correspondence? Ah, uh, come here. Come out in the backyard and I'd be glad to give you a little demonstration. A banana split. Now, look, I wouldn't want to take advantage of you. Don't worry. Ah, uh, you won't be. Ah, uh, we'll be right back. What are you going to do? Teach your friend here a little lesson. Listen, my car is right outside. As soon as I get finished with him, I'll take you on that drive, I promise you, okay? I gotta see this. Patty, are you just going to stand there and let this happen? Kathy has been happening since time began. Brave men fighting over the woman they love. Who am I to fly in the face of tradition? You mean you're not going to do anything? And embarrass both of them? You really don't know much about male psychology, do you? Oh, let's go! What happened? He's out cold. Who is? What do you think? Richard! What happened? I thought you were an expert. How much can you learn through the mail? <laughs> well, I'm ready if you are. We can take a drive along the Merritt Parkway. Take a... Do you think I would go out with a bully like you? A bully like me? Of course, look what you've done to me. Oh! I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't you worry, I'll take very good care of you, Richard. I don't understand. How could you understand? You and your big moose of a brother are too busy going around beating up the neighborhood. I will thank you, Mr. Mitchell, to leave and never darken my doorway again. I'll show you to the door. Yes. Well, you know, I thought I understood women. Oh, I'm sure you do. You just don't understand Patty. <laughs> didn't tell me was he was boxing champ in college. Boy, did he make me feel like an amateur. Oh, Richard, I'm so sorry it happened. Oh, it was worth it, Mrs. Lane. You should have seen the way Patty lit into him. Well, I should hope so. You know, she's over there now straightening out that moose of a brother of his. Don't you think it would be better if we just forgot the whole thing? Yeah, maybe we ought to keep these feuds confined to the family and not involve strangers. Well, I don't want a feud anymore. I feel like I got my sister back again. How'd it go, champ? Richard, here's a steak for you. Ross, here's a steak for you. What's the chicken for? That is a rough family. <laughs>
Talk alike. You can lose your mind.